Good morning, one and all present here. In this video tutorial, we will be going to see about what is BLAST in bioinformatics. What is BLAST in bioinformatics, right? So let me tell you in step by steps so that you can access the website and learn the technique in a clear way. So to access the website, let me type, uh, uh, let me call Google first, okay? And next, type in NCBI, NCBI. So this is actually the search result page, which will show me what is NCBI and uh, the website name is www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. So I make a click here. So now I am in the home page of BLAST. I am in the home page of BLAST. And so from the drop down menu, I can access different areas in the uh, database. So first what I need is I want to uh, search for protein so that and uh, after uh, click this area, I could find a list here. I'm having uh, a protein and now I'm going to select the name of the protein and the name of the organism. For example, I'm typing amylase enzyme, which means what I'm looking for uh, the amino acid sequence details for the enzyme amylase produced by E. coli, produced by E. coli. And uh, during this time, after entering all these corresponding informations, I am taking, I mean, uh, I have been uh, navigated to another page. Uh, here I could find the total number of available records, right? So with respect to my search, so-called amylase, there are about 56,375 records are available. 500 and sorry 56,375 records are available and each page will display 20 results each page will display 20 results right and I can I can I can uh, filter the species here see there are uh, from this area Amylase enzyme is reported from 5 animals and uh, 19 plants, uh, 2 fungi and uh, 56,338 uh, results from bacteria and 4 archaeobacterial forms. So what I have to do is just customize here, click this area and what I mean uh, exactly I can filter, right. So I just want to uh, display the results being obtained from bacteria alone, right? I, ha I have cleared all other things. What I require is uh, the sequence details of bacteria. Sequence details of bacteria. See, uh, no other organism will be enlisted. No other organism will be enlisted, right? After this, uh, let me uh, check into the uh, first uh, component right this is for amylase from E. coli Escherichia coli and let me click this uh, FASTA form FASTA form uh, FASTA stands for fast alignment a procedure for aligning the sequences for aligning the sequences so this is how the FASTA format looks like means the sequence information starts with a greater than symbol starts with a greater than symbol okay so this is how the first format looks like and uh, these are all the informations uh, so called uh, uh, the nature of amino acids or the name of the amino acids being present in the amylase enzyme and now i am going to take you to a new uh, window where I am going to type NCBI BLAST. 
NCBI blast. Okay. NCBI blast. So blast stands for basic local alignment search tool. Basic local alignment search tool. So this is how the blast page looks like. Right. Let me uh, tell you in uh, once again. Let me call Google. Okay, Google. I'm typing NCBI blast and click this. Okay, so this is how one can access the uh, blast page. And as I told you, the expansion for blast is basic local alignment search tool. What is the purpose of using blast? See, Blast is actually an online tool for finding regions of similarity. This is what the most important thing to be noted. So, Blast is a tool uh, which is intently created for finding the regions of similarity between biological sequences. What are biological sequences? Maybe DNA information retrieved from DNA or derived from proteins or RNA. So all these informations are called as biological sequences, biological sequences. What this program will do, the program, I mean the BLAST program, compare nucleotide or protein sequences to sequence databases and calculate the statistical significance and calculate the statistical significance. So this is what the BLAST can do. One thing, BLAST is a tool for finding similarity, point number one. Second point, this will calculate the statistical significance between the sequences, between the sequences. Right, let me tell you how to run the BLAST in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned with me. Bye-bye.